Well, gents, um, using this uh, monitor app is going to be even easier than I thought it was going to be. So, uh, you need to download MXQ first, and then you need to connect to the extra mixer like you normally would. You're, you need to make your Wi Fi connection. And the main mix, which would be my iPad, uh, needs to be on and set to whatever venue that we're using. But it basically, once that's all up, then all you have to do is uh, open the app. Right. And then you go up to this top button here, which is will be your source. And you would pick your source. So, Rob or Hammer, uh, Anthony for Ox5. You can basically ignore the rest because that won't do anything for you. <laughs> we'll say Rob. And so right now it's on the MCA view. And basically those are like subgroups. Now apparently, um, You can use these how you want, but I'm not sure if one applies to all iPads connected. We'll have to play with that. But basically, what I did was uh, assign vocals to MCA1 and then instruments to MCA2. And basically, how you do that is you select MCA1 and then you tell it what it is that you want to see. Uh, in this case, uh, we've got, uh, yeah, we've got everything selected. And, yeah, okay. And, we'll go back. Hello. Oh, sorry, got to go done. And, MCA2. Again, you can, whoops, assign what you want. No. Done. So, as you can see, there's a fader, um, fader line with the center detent. So if you want to, say, turn down all your vocals, you go do, and turn up all your vocals. Turn down all your instruments. Turn up all your instruments. Anyway, that's just a way to jump around. Uh, you do that here and then you go to your mixer. Okay, and there's your mix. So whatever mix you had, uh, or we had saved on the Xair, will automatically come up. And you scroll through your mix. The names of the uh, channels are above them. Uh, there we go. And uh, like I said, you can also go into portrait mode. So let's go to Randy's monitor mix. We'll go back up to source and we'll pick Randy. And now we're in Randy's mix. All right. And uh, I'm going to flip it sideways just because I like to prefer to use it that way. So uh, the MCAs you can also use as a filter. It's kind of an easy way to jump around uh, your mix. So, for example, MCA1 is assigned to vocals. So if I hit that, all that's there is the vocals. If I hit number two, all that there, all that's there is the, the instruments. And to turn that off and have all channels again, you just hit filter again. Uh, so pretty straightforward. 
faders are longer, so not so a little easier to work with, I think. And that's MXQ app.